The benchmark index of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange plunged by 2.9% today to close at a 2021 low of 27,153.13 as tumult around China technology companies continues. Last week's cybersecurity probe and punishment of DD Global just days after it went public in the US, along with uncertainty about American and Chinese government policy toward Chinese listings at US exchanges, has raised questions about how and where some of the mainland's fast-growing technology companies would raise capital, what sort of operational rules they might face in the future, and what sort of risks await foreign investors in Chinese shares. That list doesn't even include questions about future enforcement of anti-monopoly rules in China against the country's biggest tech firms following new fines, albeit it's small-sized, this week against Alibaba and 21 others for past merger irregularities. Among the biggest losers were US-listed technology companies including Alibaba, which lost 4.1%, Baidu, down 4.6%, and NetEase off 3.5%. Losses weren't confined to only US-listed businesses, however. Short-form video platform Kuaishou, which trades only in Hong Kong, continued a summer swoon, losing 3% to 160 Hong Kong dollars. It traded as high as 415 Hong Kong dollars earlier this year. Electric vehicle suppliers that had been market favorites in the past year are now facing concerns that they may also become caught up in new rules. X Peng which sold shares this month at 165 Hong Kong dollars in a secondary listing in Hong Kong, plunged by 8% to close at 151 Hong Kong dollars and 50 cents. Didi, whose plunge in the US this week has triggered lawsuits and set off a political firestorm among China critics in Washington, DC that want tougher scrutiny for mainland listings, lost another 4.6% yesterday in New York trade on Wednesday. It fell another 4.7% in aftermarket trade, leading investors in its IPO deeper in the red. Chinese businesses have been scrambling to list in the US this year at a time when the American economy and capital markets are awash with liquidity linked to record US government debt and stimulus spending. Today's Hong Kong benchmark Hang Seng Index close was the lowest since it ended at 27,147.11 on December 30. Didi's $3 billion options payday who might have gained.